right, we're going live. You're live, it says. You're live. Again, I think the lighting's better. I hope it is. Natural lighting, window, sunlight. So, pitching in Hollywood, the pitch. You know, it sounds, I remember before I did it, of course, it sounds a lot more intimidating and, uh, you know, gargantuan juggernaut. You know, can I do it? I just want to write scripts. I just want to write stories. I don't want to pitch. I don't want to have to talk to people, right? I don't want to have to pitch. Now, not a baseball, right? Not a ball pitch. Like, well, Cisco would love this, huh? Cisco would love it. It's one of those hand uh, exercises. Yeah. Well, maybe o maybe this is Odo, <laughs> and he took he took the form. And, of course, those are Star Trek references because I wrote several times for Star Trek, and I pitched most often to Star Trek. I pitched to Voyager twice, to Deep Space Nine twice, and then I had the pleasure of pitching to the Dead Zone, Stephen King's Dead Zone, with Michael Piller uh, as the showrunner. Uh, Michael is not, you know, no longer with us, uh, and he was awesome. He was just, I mean, the way he set that tone when he came into the meeting, he was a little late, and he came in with his baseball cap. I always got my baseball cap on, and uh, he, you know, ran the room of the with the other writers. Uh, but all right, let's get down to what pitching is, all right, and what it's not. And I think that's a really important uh, element to say what it's not. You know, pitching isn't going to be this long, drawn-out thing. You're not going to have hours. You know, you're going to have – I guess my longest pitch was probably a bit over an hour or so, you know, between, say, 45 minutes – and over an hour, uh, you know, one article I just read online before doing the live thing live was um, some executives, some producers might take 50 pitches a day. And it's incredible. I remember, you know, because I'm in the New York area, um, you know, the time difference, they would call me from Deep Space Nine Voyager about eight or nine o'clock. So it was, you know, five or six o'clock. And I guess their their day would end maybe seven or eight, maybe even nine o'clock. So they were pretty, you know, at the end of their day. I was certainly at the end of my day. And, uh, you know, and then fun would commence with the pitch. But so basically, again, it's not you're not going to be, you know, doing this for hours. So time is of the essence. You know, you've got to be brief brevity. And that means that each idea, like, for example, say you're say you're bringing four ideas four four to six is a great sort of you know number to shoot for maybe a little bit more they certainly you know might listen to more if it's really good and if they still have some time you know and they want to entertain you for another you know 10 15 20 minutes so you figure four to six i used to do about four to six or so my first was was in person that was at paramount studios paramount pictures with jerry taylor co-creator of voyager and at the time the showrunner this was about I guess about six months after the first season uh, launched. So, um, you know, I met Jerry. She was awesome. Great office. She had on her, uh, you know, on, on the office walls, Jake and the Fat Man. She had been, I think, a staff writer for that, maybe one of the main producers, uh, you know. And then one of the, uh, yeah, it was a big blow up of Unification, the pocket novel that she wrote for Pocket Books. And that was cool. So, um, but, you know, she was my first, <laughs> excuse me. She was my first pitch, it went off really well. And, you know, it was about a little over an hour or so. And that was in person. So that's, again, another thing to remember. You're, you know, if you're in person and it's a live pitch there, it's going to be, you know, a whole different dynamic. Over the phone, it's another ball game. And my next pitch was with uh, Kenneth Biller and Lisa Klink of Voyager. And Ken later, uh, yeah, he wrote Endgame, the, the finale. Uh, Voyager, which was great. He was cool. Lisa was cool. I think Lisa had just started as um, maybe an intern or, you know, she was new on the staff. And I remember she gave me a great compliment. She's like, you you pitched so detailed and so like efficient and well and clear. I'm like, thanks. You know, this is my, only my second pitch, my first telephone pitch. So, uh, you know, the, the core of this is you want that four to six ideas. You want each idea to be brief, to be detailed and Michael Piller, uh, I'm pretty sure he he would, you know, got this from Gene Roddenberry, was like, you know, what is it about? And it sounds simple. Well, of course, what is it about? Well, what's the core? You know, what is that 
core story. My next generation with Warp's brother, with good old, you know, the Klingon Warf and, you know, uh, Nikolai Rozhenko, the, uh, uh, you know, the, the fo his foster brother, human, Paul Servino playing the role. You know, this was about two men who rarely got along as kids or there was always, always this clash. And now they come together, they have to work together and they've got to iron out their differences. So it's that sibling rivalry coming into the fore as mature adults and how that impacts the, you know, the Enterprise mission with the Baralans. So, and that's basically, you know, would be the core pitch and how you would, you know, communicate that to your, uh, to your, you know, the producers that you're, you're pitching. Oh, and this is a, a good thing to remember. The most producers I had was five and that was on Dead Zone. That was Michael Pillar and he had uh, four others. And that was a little weird. You know, I had a, I had a buddy, we were, we were pitching together, but it was like, wow, you know, you got an audience. And before that, I'd, I'd only have one or two, Jerry Taylor, uh, 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 Lisa Klink and Ken Biller, Renee Echeverry of Deep Space Nine and Hans Beimler of Deep Space Nine. And it was always just one or two. Again, Lisa had, I guess had come on, maybe she was an intern or she was new and she was with Ken, who I guess was a bit senior but that was the first season. So everybody was still getting their feet wet. So that's about it. I mean, I'll, I'll definitely do some more in detail, but you want your four to six ideas. You want them, you know, very detailed if they like them, but then you want that log line elevator pitch that maybe third, you know, blah, blah, this is what it's about. You know, caretaker, the Starfleet uh, Voyager starship gets tossed into the Delta quadrant and now they must make their way home, you know, uh, resisting all the hazards you know and the uh, the uh, the enemies that they'll find you know basically that's the that's caretaker and there you go hope you guys are doing well hope you're enjoying these live streams are fun we'll keep doing them and uh we'll see you soon live long and prosper take care i gotta end it now yeah take care <laughs>